Hello guys and welcome to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today we're talking about how your inner conversation literally changes your reality. And I want to break down why this works, this wonderful teaching from Neville Goddard and many other fantastic teachers like Dr. Joseph Murphy and many others of my favourites here. Your inner conversation literally creates your reality. Why is this? Because we think and feel and we talk to ourselves. We literally have full-blown conversations with other people in our own mind have you ever done this before where you've been uh, about to go and tell someone something maybe it's something you don't really want to talk about and you've had the conversation about 20 times in your head thinking of it each way it could possibly go well this is what we do with our mind now think about it like this say for example that you're looking to have a healing if your constant inner conversation with yourself is saying and you imagine talking to people and how you're going to tell them how you're not feeling good and, you know, times are tough ahead. And you're also talking to yourself saying, you silly fool, you let yourself get ill. Why did you do this? You know, and you've been really harsh and your, your sort of discovery of your inner sort of conversation is one that is not becoming of you. Then how do you expect the body to respond in kind? Now, if you start to think of your inner conversation or affirmations in a sense where you start to only speak and imagine and have the conversations inside of wellness, health, oneness, well-being. You see, it's an interesting thing. After a while, this starts to change your state just like meditation does. So as you get used to doing the inner conversation, the talking, the self-talk, the self-love. So, for example, let me give some examples because it feels a little bit vague at the moment. And, you know, I'm a practical kind of coach here. So examples are <clears throat> you're about to go for a job interview. And in your mind, you're like, don't say something stupid. Don't say something stupid. Don't say something stupid. And then you go into the... Uh, interview and you inevitably say something stupid whereas in your mind if you were saying this is going to be my best interview yet they're going to love and respect me they're going to offer me all that I want and more and I'm going to go in there and go proudly as myself in there I mean think about how your sort of psyche is going to be different you have gone from someone who's a victim to the potential of something going wrong and doesn't feel like they have any sort of control over their reality and their life to someone who has just said to themselves you're going to do this so for all my wonderful followers out there I know a lot of you follow me because you're looking to heal ailments anxieties various things if you are saying to yourself I am so so worried so anxious all of this sort of stuff you're going to end up having a lot of trouble there but if you start saying to yourself in a different way I am absolutely calm collected I am one with the infinite things like this you're going to start to feel absolutely wonderful instead so we need to really start to focus on creating our inner reality through the way that we talk to ourselves as well it is not enough just to get up in the morning do a meditation go about your day and let your thoughts run wild the reason why I talk about <clears throat> inner conversation is because we need to be the director of our lives. We need to be the person who's going to absolutely start to put their best foot forward. So start to have those inner conversations with yourself. Also, you can take it a step further and you can start to imagine the conversations you'd have with other people if your dreams were fulfilled. You know, many of you out there who have ailments, you're having conversations in reality saying to people about your issues and problems because they ask. But actually, I want you to start to imagine them saying to you, don't you look so well? You've never looked better. You are a miracle healer. How have you done this? I want you to start to build this feeling. Because as you build the inner conversation, you change the inner feeling. You change the inner vantage point. What happens then? You're propelled into that reality. So we must keep using and taking our best foot forward and start to create an inner conversation with ourselves. Just as you do visualization or in your meditations, you must add feeling to it. Add the feeling to it. It's the thought and the feeling and the consistent action. So consistently have an inner conversation towards your greatest good and you're going to start to see those results. 
Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe.